Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Valgo Sonari, back with the United Islands of Morelva playthrough on Brigandine, The Legend of Inertia. This is the battle of... I forget. Uh, current state of battle. Click on this. <laughs> battle of Gales. That's right. We're going after Manus Alicia once again with Morelva. We have our formation set up very nicely here. And if we end our turn right now, I believe they will be coming in at us. So uh, several monsters can reach our... Uh, our front line here, including these birds. So I'm hoping to make some contact right here now. So let's get started, shall we? We're just going to end right here. I could initiate, but they're going to be going in a row. So you ended? You ended. Yo. Okay. Um. Pause. <laughs> let's try this again. I had to reform, so Guinea's gonna get the first hit here. I am initiating, apparently, so let's try this one. Uh, our formation is not compromised, so we're okay. Nice first hit there. And we've got a nice front line set up for two creatures to, or two units, rather, to get uh, tornadoed the entire time. And if they do decide to come back here, it's just gonna be bad news bears anyways. So, reform up this way. Very nice. Okay, we're good, we're good. Just a little, a little weird there at first. Uh, this side might need more healing because we have something going on the right. So yeah, stay here. And you can be here. Perfect. Okay, Weavern. Um, I may put you here just to have some more uh, support on the Thief because Sherrod won't be able to take a lot of damage. Um, the Mermaids are definitely not going to come in and attack me physically, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Bring it, Gimp Gilliam. Let's do it. Who's fighting? Nice miss. Very good. That's a better matchup for me. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. I'm trying to pop out these episodes as much as I possibly can. <laughs> it's definitely getting tougher uh, as the days goes on, but I am definitely trying my best. So... Thanks for hanging in there with me, by the way. During this busy time, so. Resist. I don't have any magic. Except for the demon. That's pretty much it. Yeah, the mermaids are just going to be standing by the entire time. He left all the mermaids over there to their fate. Wow. They're now weaker. Okay. I can swing in there and get them. Not too bad. Nice. He populated a spot in between. That's fantastic. See, this is why this formation is also great, because it encourages them to come in and hit the back line. If you have a decent back line that can take like one hit, for example, um, it is a risky uh, thing, to, let's be clear, but it does uh, encourage more enclosure, en enclosement statuses. So uh, this happens more often than you would think. It can happen here, here, and back here as well. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's got more, um, more reward than you would think. Let's see. We can curse this guy up, um, and probably kill him with the axe wielding thingy. <laughs> I don't know why I said axe wielding thingy. Probably because I streamed today. I've been saying a hundred words per minute, uh, the entire night. Uh, let's see. No, that won't be enough. But do I reform? I mean, I, I should, right? So. We can get some nice hits in here and get some kills for Sherrod. Although he will get to 10 after this. What's your proficiency on, on Thief? Okay, we haven't changed. Okay, that's fine. So level 10 will be fine. Um, we honestly don't have to attack with him whatsoever. <laughs> we really don't. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to stay here and keep it. Yeah, keep the formation. Yep. We shall remain. We will do a breath attack though. So... There is that. I wish he had hidden away. Then again, I don't want to over-level him. I would like to keep him at 10 after the battle is done. So I can just be uh, as even with it as possible. <clears throat> as we all like to do. What you guys playing right now? As far as the factions go. So if you are playing other games, by all means, hit me up in the comment section. But uh, if you are currently playing Brigandine, what faction are you rocking with at this moment? What your team's looking like as well. Let's see. 
No healing is necessary. I feel like I need to put the healing more over on this side. So, one space would be good. Uh, let's see. And just stand by. Yep. I don't really need to fight with him. I just need to win the battle. Which, wouldn't be too bad. Let's see. What is your status here? Magic resist, but not protection. What about you? Same thing. That's fine. Fine by me. Let's see. Uh, Robilio, I really would like to get you up and running. Let's see. I think I might want to put a protection spell on the giant snake. Let's see. That might actually encourage them to go in and attack Robilio more. But I'm still debating if I want to put it on Robilio. But then again, if I do that, you know, the double-edged sword. Let's see. Um... I think the lizard would have more accuracy against the, this bird right here, instead of the wyvern. Um, so, I might move you over one, actually. What's the level here? 85 to 93. Yeah, go. We'll give the lizard a space. Maybe block some attacks here. Boom. Who's it gonna be? 63, 72, go. Very nice, and a crit. I like it. Mmm. The second best outcome right there. Crit and a block. Protect. Um, 526, 388. Mm, yeah. Might be healing this one on uh, the next round. Actually, I can't. He's not in range. You gotta be careful here. So. And I wish I could reach somebody. You're not really... Um, in good standings to be in like guineas formation like he's trying to do we'll get you there but right now it's not an option okay I think it's time for a swing um, let's see I wish I could hit with that goblin over here that way I could get a double kill here um, you're almost 25 though pretty nice I don't think I'll cross class him and just to get a tier 1 he'll probably just stay viking the entire time so uh, disaster swing is the free one. So 256 or 57 on both. Assuming they don't block it. I don't think they can block this, can they? I'm pretty sure they can, actually. Or Raging Hurricane will kill both. Um, actually, this is worth it because there's no physical attackers. Except for the Swordsman. He's not going to come in and fight me. Uh, he's too busy on the right. Yeah, it's just all magic. So I might as well use this now. Yeah, go. No blocks. Very nice. Double kill. I like it. I will take it. Okay. Any heals necessary? Not really. Although I do want to move you. Because we're going to need you over here. So let's put you over here. And then breath. Back line. Mermaids they got are useless, man. Total garbage. I could have crossed with the breath the leader, but that's fine. I'm going to be moving in anyways because they're not going to put any other physical fighters here. Maybe the swordsman, but he's probably going to keep on hitting the giant snake or he'll go for uh, Robilio. So if that's the case, um, I want to keep you here, I think. Yeah, stay here. This is fine. This is time to move in. Get some hits. Very nice. Go, Gilliam. Holy word. Okay. He finally made a decent move. Look at that. They do have plenty of heals, though, so... That's gonna go a long way. We just got way too much physical power here, so... We got this. Very good. Someone decided to fight him. Get some combat in there. And take a heal pretty easily. Although both unicorns are going to have to go over to the right, for sure. Oh, shit. Ah, the double holy word. That, that hurts. <laughs> that doesn't feel too good. Pretty bad. Yikes. Crit action here. What is up? What is up? No! 
I wish the goblin can counterattack with his paralyzed wave. Would that be too broken? No! Ugh. Giant Snake is gonna kick the bucket here. Uh, let's see. We've got some healing to do. My god. Okay. First thing is first. I think we're done doing the, the swingy attacks, so we're gonna be uh doing just adjacent attacks here from now on. Really. That's fine. What we can do is get a kill with the demon since it's so low. And get it physically. Hopefully. Nice. And then just put the wyvern in that spot right there. So, perfect. Whoops. I almost screwed up. I thought I keep on thinking the wyvern's on his team. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Okay. We can be safe here. Quick cut. Um, D6 chance, 73% chance. Let's go here. Centaur is being a pain. If we lose this giant snake, it's not too big of a deal, but I would like to keep them if I can. We are morale after all, so. Um. Yeah, kill here. That double holy word, though. Let me check their MP. 77 and 107, okay. They burned their biggest stuff. So it just heals from here on out. Maybe. This is level 4. Okay. I'd like to keep him if I can, but it may not happen. We shall see. Not a huge loss, though. 85. 94. 94 only? Really? God, this wyvern. <laughs> uh, alright. Nice crit. Okay, respect, respect. Uh, let's see. I wonder. No. No, that's dumb. No. Uh, 64. Uh, stand by. You do a breath. This way. Is this worth it? 72%. Uh... I don't know. I'm already hurting, kind of. Can we do a, a protect spell? Do you have the MP? We have just enough MP. Holy crap. That's crazy. Okay. I might commit to it now that I have that. We'll see, though. Because I've got to heal this thing. Go for it. Shit. Risky business, these barbarians here, man. Okay. We're still in it. I really need to give him a heal, but this thing needs more of a heal as well. You think the protection spell is still on there? I don't know if he has enough MP for another Ido Blade. I don't think he does. But, just in case, he's right there. So, that gets the heal. Nothing else can really hit Robilio. Unless they move away and get a, get a Centaur shot, but... I don't think they will. Especially if I can hit right here. Is this possible? No! I needed that! I needed that big time! And hit the back line, yo! Alright. That's unfortunate. Um, we hit the three or the two? Yeah, hit the three. Boom. Both misses on Barbarians, man. With decent percentages, I might add. In the 70s is not that bad. So, come on now. Give me a bone here. Okay. Don't think we can get this kill with the Goblin, but I'm going to try. Oh, maybe. 
We got it. We actually got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll see if he lives. <laughs> yep, saw that one. Yikes. All these heals, man. It's really not that bad, like... It's just the swordsman that I'm ha having to worry about over here. We can kill off this last griffin pretty quickly. They have a wyvern. Close. Just counterattack. I don't want even want this wyvern over here. <laughs> oh man. You're going in physical. Really? Okay. You had MP. Alright. A crit on a thief with a golem. Yikes. Yep, he did. God. Thank goodness for that heal and protection spell. Otherwise, that giant snake would be gone. Okay. Um. Hmm. One more heal here. I can't reach who I want to reach over here, but that's okay. I think you're out. Got to keep the leaders alive. Yep. Oh, a perfect unicorn. Sweet. Hmm. Do I do a breath through this wyvern? Maybe. Demon's out of, uh... Rune area. Let's see. Yeah, the damage is pretty bad. <laughs> I'm gonna move you to a better spot for sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can go here. That's fine. Breath through. Quick cut, uh, 54%, 80%, yikes. Hmm. Yeah, don't you do more damage to Mountain? Let's see. Is that worth? Hmm, <laughs> sure. Come on, man. Where's those misses at? Where are those misses at? Giving them all to me. Do we have another one? We do, just enough. Just enough. 66. Yep, it's time to focus down Avril. Gotta get him gone. Um, actually, we're gonna try to get you out of here. You have no protection on you. It's only 60 damage for whatever reason. God! Oh my god! That is insane. I don't know if this is a smart idea, actually. Robilio might end up uh, wounded because of this. 71%. There's a feint. Okay. Counteracting some of those misses. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Gotta get this front line down, man. We can enclose. We've got the kill here. However, it is 50, right? Yeah, we can't breath anymore. So we've got the kill there. We can surround and probably kill this right here. So, let's do this first, I think. Yes. Okay. They actually might retreat after this one. After we take down the bird. Does Guinea have enough power to do it? I do have the Paralyzed Wave, in case I need it. But, he does. It's one over! Holla at you, boy. Thank you. Thank you very much for lifting the curse. 
there it goes. I'm cured. One over instead of one under. Goodbye. That felt good. Not gonna lie about that one. That one felt good. You do have a heal left. I thought you were out. Okay. We are definitely gonna use it. Um. Boom. I'm a damnest to keep this thing alive. Hmm. You can't be reached. So I'm gonna put you here, I think. But then again, the wyvern could probably swing around and get you. Um. There's no safe place to put him to give him the possibility of doing a range attack. Actually, hang on. Can the wyvern actually get over there? Yeah, he can. Okay. Yeah, just stay put. We're good. You're staying. That's fine. He was in the front line. Fainted. No turn there. Yikes. That's precisely why they're sticking around is because of him. There goes the lizard. Hmm. Interesting choice there. Okay. Nice hit. We got him now. We got him now. You get up there? You can. Heck yeah. Alright. We're going to start off with the Venom. 46. Um, I don't want your mermaids, though. <laughs> However, we're pretty weak. We need to focus leaders. Alright, let's go. I know he's got magic resist, whatever. Every little bit counts here. I don't want you to level after the fight, so I'm not even going to attack with him. No heals left. Stand by. What does the accuracy look like up here? I honestly, well, maybe I don't care because like, uh, getting the damage off is more important at this point, so let's see. He might take a big hit here, though. That's 88%. And if he crits me, he could die. You know what? I might actually just hit the mermaid. And get this surround. Yeah, that's better. That's better. We can get a big hit. With, um... Okay. With, uh, the sea serpent and guinea. He's definitely dead after these attacks here. Plus the dragon. If we get the hit here, 100%, we got it. I didn't think it would go all the way up. Okay, alright. Well, let's see. I want to kill this guy so bad. Um, however, getting that percentage up is going to be tough. I'd have to enclose Robilio, which is not a good look. And then Guinea goes next. Uh, I can't reach it with the Wyvern. I might be able to kill Jaden with the Goblin. And the Unicorn, maybe? It depends. It's gonna have, like, a lot of dinky hits here. I can't breath anymore. Let me see. I tried this. It's 72% here. This has to hit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Enclose. For an enclose. 100%. Nice faint. No counter. Very good. Very good. This guy's coming through. He's going to be a beast. I'm ready. Uh, we need these two spots open for a bigger hits, which is going to be the goblin. Can the wyvern swing? You can swing and get there. Goblin can get the second tile, right? Yes. That might be enough to do it, actually. Okay, no imp hit. <laughs> no imp hit. Stay where you are. Okay, Guinea's next. We're going to hopefully get the kill here. 
I would say this would be plenty. 94%. Don't fail me. Yes, and a crit on a 407. Holy crap. That's awesome. Okay. Works for me. Bye. I don't want your mermaids. <laughs> Get him out of here. Oh, we might use him. Who knows? But now we have this available as well. So he's definitely dead. I want the wyvern to probably get the kill on this thing. On this thing. On this human. Sorry. Um, assuming this doesn't kill him. That might kill him. Okay. I was expecting a crit. But we're good. So five, seven. I want a kuwaddle. Give me that kuwaddle. Or close to it, rather. Alright. We looking up. They they made us pretty weak in the streets on this one, man. Pretty close. There's that level 10. Hell yes. Hell yes. Alright. Can anything else get in there and hit him? I don't want him to die. <laughs> uh, Wyvern cannot hit him. Yep. He's good. He's good. He's safe. Alright. And, actually, wait. Get some free hits here, maybe? Sure, let's get some free hits. Tank Unicorn, here we go. Reminds me of multiplayer. <laughs> nope. Bye. You're done. Go home. Alright, that was quite a fight, actually. Quite a fight. Almost a half an hour in that first one. Which is fine. I knew this one was going to be a little bit more dicey. Um, because we had a wonderful fight against Tim last episode, as you guys know. So, if we're going on to the organization phase, I'm going to have to incorporate that new Bahamut that I got last episode. That's going to be fun. Into class ups here. There is a gremlin, fantastic. And we call it a lonely mermaid, hey. <laughs> we'll probably just delete that monster, who knows. Awesome. We only lost two units. We're good to go. More territory, yo. We are moving. There you go. Now they're being smart about it. That's the only one that I had to give up. And I can afford to give that one up as well, so. Best results. We have training. <laughs> Sophie's getting it up there, man. I'm ready to finally incorporate her once she reaches level 10. Because you get the most experience out of the training grounds if you're below level 10. Then it starts going down a little bit more. Or the result, should I say, uh, won't be as much as high. But uh, anyways, I have a ton of organization to do really quick. Especially with these new Bahamut and Demon uh, monsters here. We should have plenty of room for at least a Bahamut and one Demon. That one's level 8. So, uh, we shall see. I'll also check my classes to make sure we're cross-classing effectively. Um, he's almost 20 right here. After he gets to 20, uh, I don't know if I'll incorporate a heal, but, uh, the agility is somewhat high, but then again, I don't know. I don't think I'll do an agility class. I'll probably just stick with the heal. Anyways, so let me do some organization. I'll be right back with you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the plan. It's kind of a weird one. Just but go with me here, so... I am sacrificing this castle because I can afford to, right? So it's not going for like any double lanes, which is good. So we do lose a choke point, yes, which is fine. But um, it's still between two different countries, so it really doesn't make a big difference. Uh, so we can afford to lose one over here while at the same time preventing them from taking more free castles. Because taking one per turn is fine, but taking two in a row up into this work that I put in in the top right is not acceptable. So, I've moved temporarily uh, a Deuce team over here, and I expect there to be a battle over here. I think Ruta's gonna be coming in from this angle because he did not move any of the troops from here. So I think this team is coming in to say hi over here this this um, uh, this round. So, however, we won't be seeing that fight first. We're gonna be seeing this fight first from Belfarm to Garwellen so we can take out 
Gustava from this angle. If we can take this castle right here, they cannot go south any longer. So if we get this one, that's a very important castle to grab. And I think they have a... Uh, yeah, they do have Ginger here, right, with uh, just one uh, tier two. So nothing crazy. But the leaders are pretty substantial, so we definitely want to make sure it's a good fight. And we do our best. So... Um, while at the same time, plugging away at Mana Silesia a little bit more since they did get a free castle. And hopefully we can defend this one right here, so that way we can diminish them by one and, uh, not by zero. You know what I mean? So, um, and I think that's gonna be it. So just three battles, uh, maybe. But, uh, we'll see about that if the defense happens. So, let's get going. We'll do one more battle today. And then we will, uh, reconvene on the next ones next episode for sure. So... Yep, there is the power level from Gaimul. Free castle, that's fine. We will redefend next turn for sure. So, we're bound to be in a better position after this round. So, the only issue is that we have to take a turn to move back to Belfarum to try to get back up into uh, Gustava and take them out completely. But we're going to be diminishing them to, to three castles this round uh, after this battle here if we can win. So. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right. Same team. Bam. Gonna be a more difficult fight, um, but not entirely. There's a lot of water here. I usually think that because there's a lot of water, we're in trouble. This isn't the case. So uh, I actually like this map now. <laughs> so we're playing the right country. Anyways, let's start moving. I will see you when the battle starts. Stay tuned. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> I forgot to hit the record. Well, I didn't forget. I thought I didn't consider me uh, going in and tagging um, a wolf with the Bahamut would uh, instigate their approach. I should know this from OG days, but uh, yeah, I didn't consider it, should I say. So whoops. As you can tell, they have already uh, begun their approach in the water, and this is pretty gorgeous, I must say. We're going to take out Samarius pretty quickly. Um, as much as I would like to nab this... Uh, Hi, Lizard Man. I don't think I'm going to be able to. But regardless, we are in good standings uh, so far. So, the place that I want you to go is probably right here. Is that lake? It is. It is lake indeed. So, be here. Bam. Heck yeah. Lucy's going to be a boss. I'm ready. So, that is your name, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Lucia, Lucia. However you pronounce it. So, um, Let's be... Here, I might move Pluto up one more space actually behind the sea, behind the sea serpent. I'm not sure yet though. He can reach uh, a couple things, but I might change that. So yeah, stand by here. That's fine. Uh, this can be used for enclosure on my part, but also their part as well, pretty easily. So I don't know if I want to enclose the Phoenix and get hit by all this BS over here, especially my boy Knowles over here. Um, let's see, but. That could encourage them to come in, and uh, then I can ch maybe charm Null. But they do have cures. Or at least one cure, should I say. Uh, however, I can't really hit anything else. Um, do we go for it? You do have healing as well. But you're out of range of unicorn heals. Pluto's there, but... Yeah, go for it. Why not? Oh, poor Bronius. Back here, nothing to do. <laughs> I don't dare put him in the water. He's not going to be able to do anything in there. I mean, he can tank, obviously, but... No way is he hitting anything. Okay, back to Pluto's turn. Um, Let's see. Do I breath up this way starting now? Or do I do a kill here? I might do a kill with Pluto. It would be nice to get him to 20. I wanted to move him, but I may be against it. Yeah, go. Just get kills. It's cannon fodder at this point. Frost. I'm so sorry. I put the freaking fast forward on this whole time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been playing chat. I was playing challenge mode uh, at my uh, at my folks' house during Thanksgiving. You know, during the downtime and stuff, just relaxing. And I I developed that habit to just do uh, fast forward on challenge mode. So my fault there. <laughs> Very sorry. Okay, do I do a frost or do I save it for two charms in the water? I think I'm going to save it because you don't get that opportunity very often. So I may actually consider moving you, but then again, that's in line of the uh, 
Bahamut's breath. Actually, no. Just do a, um, a cross breath here. Not water storm, dummy. <laughs> no. <laughs> not here. Not now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, go. Pardon me. <clears throat> Long day. Let's see. Uh, curse. We need to focus Samarius. I think you have a... Yeah, that's magic resist, but it's still decent. We're going to get her down pretty quickly with physicals. I think. I think. It would be nice to enclose her, though. Okay. If we can get a whole bunch of guaranteed hits, then we're good to go. We got breath attacks like crazy. We've also got the uh, shot from here. Can I charm her from here? I can. Hmm. I actually may do that because her getting hit doesn't remove it. One, two, three, four. The unicorn can't reach for cures. Ginger has no cures. Go. That is the play. Hell yes. Hell yes. I like it. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Cheap shot. Will this be a hit? Hell yes, it will. Um, she won't counterattack though because she's charmed. I don't think she does. Uh, definitely do a breath. Bam. Very good. Let's see. Do I go right here and breath through, or do I go up here and be brave and do it this way? I don't think I do that actually. I actually might do a breath this way with the Bahamut. Uh, do a movement like up here to block off the en enclosure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is good. Okay, so let's do a Calamity Breath here. This way. That's lovely. And then do a move, which is overpowered as hell. Block that enclosure off. I would like to get the kill with Stella if I can. You can be fairly safe in this spot. But I might bring it back to here. Because that opens up a spot for you. Where are you at? 150? Uh, who's next? Ginger's troop is next. They're going in a row. If I leave this alive, it might stay alive. Um. But I want to hit Samarius with, <laughs> with Stella. That's the that's the thing. So. If I do that, it's just a chance to hit the wolf. But if we kill Samarius anyway, and the wolf is gone, regardless. So. The damage isn't great against her. She's, she's pretty tanky. Do you have both protections on? No, just magic resist up. Wow. Okay. We don't need any heals. We're doing great on health. So... The question is, do I get a guaranteed kill on the lizard? Or do I get her down some more? She won't get healed. She is charmed, so we could put that to good use. Uh, sure. Nice hit. Yeah, no counter. Because she's charmed. That's fantastic. Stand by, Uni. No heals necessary. Ginger can't reach us for magic, like, at all. They are in a very bad position. Yep. This team is lovely, man. Especially on the water. Pretty much everything is feasible. As long as, like, um, they stay close to the shoreline where Pluto can be useful. Everybody else is great. Except for the golem. Poor golem, right. We will, uh... We'll, uh, finagle it to where, you know, they're co they all complement each other, so... They're all useful at some point, so... Oh, no! It actually worked! No! It's gonna do a heal voice! Oh, no! That's okay. It's okay. We have a unicorn on that team. Oh, Jesus. Like, please do not heal voice there. That would be very bad. 
Very, very bad. Cure that BS. No, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. You have my respect, but I hate you now. No, I don't hate you. You're my boy. You're my boy still. It's okay. Okay. I can't kill you with the flame attack from the, uh, from this thing. The Phoenix. Uh, I also can't reach you from here. That's unfortunate. But we are going in a row, so I guess the kill might actually go to Stella after all on Samarius. So her troop is pretty much done. Um, I would like to kill this lizard guard if I can. That's definitely possible. What can you get? See, we can't get her in a, in a decent position. I do want to get a kill with her if I can, so it's going to have to be close to this thing. If you crit, I might be able to do it. Yeah, I don't think a, I don't think a kill is feasible this round with her. I still want her to take that spot, though. That is definitely a thing. So, uh, 85%, 130. Nice hit, very good. Nice miss, very good. Best outcome there. Minus the crit, that could have happened. Uh, let's see. 97%. Uh, sure. Very nice. You think it would be 100. I know it's flying, but she's in the water. But I think it's just 10%, though. Makes sense. Hey, you actually have a use. Little doggy came over here to greet us. He actually hit him. Wow. Good job, Bronius. You'll be a mithril golem yet. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Alright, Stella's turn next. We're gonna get the kill on Samarius. But only after uh, killing the dog, because it's pretty low. So, what I think we'll do is go this way with it. Sounds good. Keeps you safe. Nice shot there. Okay, so this, I think, will kill her if we do a breath attack this way. Um, that being the case, Stella could get another kill on this bird, actually. I think I'm going to breath first and then go in. That seems like the right play. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Breath first. Do we kill her? We do. Barely. It's four over. Very awesome. Maybe we can kill that demon if the lizard uh, escapes. We got the black armor. Nice. Tier 2. Escape. Yes. Perfect. I wanted that space to be open. We're good. We're good. We do have a breath attack here. Uh, can we kill with a demon? I may not even do the breath attack. I may actually do a physical hit. Oh, it's so close. Okay, we'll breath and then go in. Sounds good. Still worth it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this high lizard man. He didn't really come into play too much. Uh, do I actually want to keep you here, maybe? Um, I might go back one space, actually. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, back one space. Definitely kill the demon. Or, or, hear me out. Let's see, one, two, three. We can kill this with Pluto. Hopefully he'll get his level, this, uh, this fight. But can one of his units get up there and get the demon instead? Yes, they can do it. Um... I might put Stella here to give her some trouble, actually. She's out of the water, but that's okay. Actually, you know what? No. The best thing to do is to get a kill here first, and then put the uh, Sea Serpent up there to give Ginger some trouble. So... Yeah, kill her. Nice. No demons allowed. Purge the demons! <laughs> Alright. No heals necessary, really, just... Yeah. Move into a better position, I guess. Here is great. Okay. Get the kill here. Bam. Who's getting a ton of kills, yo? Rightfully so, he's a mage, but, you know. We've been setting it up pretty good. Level 20, there we go. 
There we go. Wizard bound. And we got a heal out of it. So, I don't know if I'll go for uh, Bishop or not. He only gets Holy Ward and Area Heal, which is good, yes. But, uh, I don't know. I think it'd be worth it, actually. We have Wizard. And we can just level from 25 to 30. To get the... To get more MP and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. I may not need all of that craziness, but... It's always nice to have the option, right? So. Um, let's see... Curse, possibly. I might want to get an Arc Demon out of this. Doing a charm is not really a good thing because they can cure it. You have MP, yeah. These guys are both full, so yeah, charm is out of the question for right now. In fact, for the rest of the fight. So what we're going to do is do a Frost here and then a Curse. Get the kill with the uh, Demon. We can get close to Arc Demon. Bam. All right, can we get to 10? She's getting 10. She's getting 10 after this battle's over. Fantastic. All right. This is Lake still. Ah, we can get up in Ginger's face and stay in the lake. That's fantastic. Hmm. 92%, I might miss. <laughs> uh, or do I go for a guaranteed hit on a monster? Um, nah, hit her up. Very good. Very good. Here comes a heal. Really? You have three units there that are low. Weird. Okay. That's fine. Yo. I might actually be able to ca capture that after all. I don't have the charm anymore. But I might actually be able to capture it. Yeah, no charm. We use the frost to set up that uh, arc demon kill, which was worth it. But yeah, I don't know. Do I try for that or do I kill this thing? I think I actually kill this thing. I can raise my own. If I were if I, if I were able to charm it, that would be different. Um, but now is not the case. Hmm. Can I kill it and then do a heal voice? That would be amazing. I don't think that's possible though. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't have uh, the units to do it. Can't reach with the golem, obviously. Nah, it's okay. We'll just kill it normally. If we can. So. Let's see, we've got the enclosure. Uh, ooh, it's a crit. Uh, I don't know. I might be able to do it with a pre-move. Nice miss there. Very good. This Phoenix Evasion taken like a boss today. Airy Rush. Dude, we got it. Not quite. Not quite. It's close. Um... We'll do it anyway. Mm-hmm. I figured. Yep. You're getting a heal from the unicorn. <laughs> for sure. Alright. Perfect. I can't wait for Lucia to get all the way up to Royal Guard. It's going to be fun. Alright. What's a cross-classer with her, though? Probably a dancer. It's always nice. Ooh, draw trick. Best move in the game. Really? Oh, she's enclosed. That's not good. Should be alright, though. We'll kill Ginger off between the two of them. It looks like, though, that Stella is gonna get the, uh... Is gonna get the setup, and then the... Hydra gets the kill, or the Sea Serpent gets the kill. Lots of passive heals, I love it. Very good. Pluto gets another kill! Maybe. Um, what do you have left? No more frost. Uh, no spell break is necessary. Flight. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? I could do resist, but Ginger's gonna be dead. So. Let's see. Yeah, why not get the kill here, right? Might as well get some more uh, experience on the way to 21. Very nice. Very, very nice. I didn't want to take the chance of her keeping that. Um, you're going to move here. Close to Null. Even though he's probably going to move. Um, let's see. Can you reach around there? You can. Let's see. Do we do a breath attack first and then set up the kill for Stella? Let's see. 
I think we do. Uh, water breath first. Yeah, this will be plenty. I don't want to take any chances on the uh, accuracy, so this is it. Any more units with her? Nope. He's gone. Hi. Hell yeah. I see an enclosure tactic here. On Null. Let's swing the Hydra around. There's 20. Hell yes. We caught a ghoul, yay. Uh, heals on somebody. Uh, let's go this guy, maybe? No, 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 you're gonna be going in, so... Maybe. Nal will probably retreat. We have more- we have more shots. Heck yeah. Go from this angle. 102. I don't think we'll be able to kill him. But we do have two big hits coming in here. Wait, Lucia- Wait, she usurped the level! Oh, she totally did. She totally usurped his level. She started at 12 today. Oh my goodness, what a tactic. Yo. I'm gonna get the kill with her. If I can. Enclosure is definitely happening. Hello. Yeah, we can get this. We can get this. Bahamut's got moving away just in case. This Bahamut was the best thing that ever happened to your boy in this playthrough. <laughs> uh, nice crit. Very good. Get out of the way. Okay. Now the question is, can she do that much damage? If not, I do have the Phoenix out of the rune area. Which is plenty. Oh, close. Close. At least it's not one today. I haven't seen it pop up yet, but it did pop up in Star Renegades the other day, though. <laughs> I will say that much. <laughs> All right, don't crit him, please. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is working out fantastically. All right. Golem can't reach nobody. Fine. Uh, no heals for you. That's a kill, yo. That's a fantastic kill right there. Bam. Yes. This team is skyrocketing, man. And we switched out the main team as well. We Now we can split up split up even more if we have to. So, But at some point, we won't have to, which will be awesome. The spiral goes on. Where should we attack next? I love the dialogue. Good stuff. Victory. Bam. That's going to be the for today for sure because it's very late over here. And I would like to get an episode out before tomorrow. So we can start catching up on things. So there's the Arc Demon. Very good. Anything else? Nope. Captured a healer. Well, we might use it if we have the room. But cool. Bam. Very nice. All leaders wounded. Fantastic kills. Fantastic levels on that fight. I loved it. Okay. Here come the hard battles. <laughs> All right. I don't think this would be too bad, though. Um, we're going against Gimpy over here. They do have a couple healers, but... Nothing too substantial. This team did fantastic on the last battle. So, uh, yeah, we'll put this in for next time for sure. All right, let's plop down real quick, and then we will call it quits for today. <clears throat> I do want to look at the map real quick. See what my options are here. We got some water. Make use of that for sure. But really only with uh, getting in the serpents. <laughs> It'll be good, but... Uh, yeah, we'll make use of it for sure. No dialogue? Or special dialogue? Nope. Not today. Excellent. Alright guys, I'm going to call it there for today. Thank you so much for joining me for today. If you did enjoy the episode, please remember to leave it a like. Also subscribe if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this, including Let's Play series and guy videos. If you are interested in checking out my Star Renegades playthrough that I'm currently covering, you can catch that in the top right-hand corner of this video as well. Any more Brigandine resources you want access to, including the Discord server, etc., you can check that in the description below, and I will see you in the next episode. I am your host, Bakosunari. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.